Hey everyone, so lately I have been feeling like a hauling machine and honestly, I'm even like Trish, cool with the shopping. Anyways, so I have a beauty haul for you guys. Um, I actually separated my beauty hauls thing, but it took me a while to film this one. I did a drugstore beauty haul and then I did like a more higher end one. This is the more higher end beauty haul, so to speak. Um, most of it's makeup products, but I did get a couple hair things, so I'm going to just show you guys that because one, I have my hair tool out. Um, it is this New May Straightener. It is the In Vogue. I kept the box because I knew I would forget. It's the In Vogue Signature Straightener. This is the box. Um, I, first of all, I love New May packaging. <laughs> but second of all, I love this straightener. Like, I have their vintage flat iron, which I really like. But the reason I like this is because it has stainless steel plates. And it makes your hair so so sleek without getting frizzy like I have been straightening my hair like crazy lately just because I love the look that this gives and I think it's just really great because I have a problem with frizz because my hair is bleached out so I love that this is kind of like good for you so I had to mention that um and then also I haven't tried this but I just got this in it's the new made curl GM set and it's in pink zebra and it comes with all of this it comes with the flat flat ugh. The straightener, this is the vintage one that I actually already do have, but it does come with the three size curling wands, which I love. I think my sister got one that has four different size barrels, but I love, I love barrel wands, barrel, is that what they're called, barrel wands, clipless curling Clipless curling irons, I guess. I love them. That's like my go-to for hair curling because it's so easy and you always get a flawless curl. Sometimes with, um... With me, I I have trouble with like the curling irons because sometimes they come out beautiful. Sometimes not so much. So I had to get another one of those. I do love my Amika curling wand, but um, honestly, I don't know what it is, but it was like making my hair frizzy, so I thought I should just get a new one. So those are my hair products, I think. Oh, yeah, those are all. Okay, so for beauty, um, I have them in Victoria's Secret bags, but they're from different places. I just needed a collective place to put all of these. Um, so the first thing I got, or that I see, is this um, Bitch, Slap Cos Bitch Slap Cosmetics palette. Um, Bitch Slap Cosmetics is pretty affordable. I've heard of them from Little Kiva. And as you can see, it's a bunch, a bunch of different colors. And I'm a big fan of palettes like these um, because a lot of times you don't want to spend money on an orange matte color or you know, maybe a green, like just colors you're unsure if you don't want to spend a ton of money. So these palettes are kind of nice because they're relatively inexpensive. If you find a look that you like creating these col with those colors, you can go out and purchase one in your favorite um, higher end, um, what do you call it, higher end shadow. I can't, I don't know why I can't talk lately. I've been having trouble explaining my thoughts, so articulating them. So um, like I said, Bitch Lab Cosmetics, um, a lot of people here, or Little Kiva used it before, and I really, I liked the name, it turns me on, and then like even the design, but I did like the quality of these shadows. Um, like I said, sort of like a BH Cosmetics thing, which I like them both, but I thought it was kind of, a, like I said, the name kind of, I was like, I better try something, so I decided to just try that palette. Um, they're sold out of a lot of palettes, so... Okay, I have some Icebreaker Sours in here, which is not a part of the beauty haul. Um, and then I got some stuff from Krylon. Krylon's kind of hard to find. There is a, um, they do sell Krylon at my local beauty store here called Namie's in, uh, in the Valley. But they didn't have any of the stuff, so I had to go on a costume or cosplay site where they sell, like, theatrical makeup. The first thing I got, and this is the reason I went on there, is so expensive, but I got this in my glossy box. The very first glossy box they ever sent out, they had this in there, and I was obsessed with it, and I've never been able to find it. Um, this is the Krylon High Gloss in the wand form in the color Toffee. It's what I'm wearing now. It's just a very, very thick, I mean, it's very thick. Watch when I, like, take it out. Like, look how thick, well, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's, like, super, super thick and tacky, but it doesn't smear, and it's a wonderful, it's like the prettiest nude ever, and that's in the color Toffee. It's really hard to find. If, if you even do find Krylon in stores, it's hard to find that. And then I also picked up two powders, because Krylon powders are my favorite. I got an anti-shine powder, which is just like this. I actually had um, a powder over there, and it is a loose powder, and it can be kind of messy, but I needed another one, because this one was for, like, the nighttime and this was for anti-shine, so people who get really shiny skin like me. Um, the other one's not for shiny skin. It's, it's just for all types of skin, but this is specifically for oily skin types. And then I got a compact version of uh, the translucent powder 
by Krylon as well. And this is the day palette, the day color, just because I had gotten night for heavy theatrical. Um, this is the day, and as you can see, oh look at that fancy! It's just a translucent powder, and it's in the pressed powder, so it's not as messy. So if you already have your makeup done and you want to touch up your makeup, it doesn't get on your eyelashes and your shadow, and then you just look like a big mess, which I do, guilty as charged, a lot of the time. Um, so then just to finish off this bag. That's from Sigma. I don't know what that is. Okay. This is from Outlook. <laughs> I know I say that weird. It's either Outlook or Outlook, but I say Outlook. I don't know. I actually picked up some stuff from the Balm. Outlook is a daily flash site. Again, not sponsored. Um, <laughs> not getting paid. Not wasn't sent these. I bought these all with my own money. Um, and they had the Balm. I've never heard of the Balm. Everybody was tweeting about it. I follow a ton of beauty gurus on Twitter. Everybody was tweeting about this. Holly Anna Ray said she got the Nude Tude Palette. So I'm a copycat of hers, as you guys all know. So I got the Nude Tude Palette as well. I'm so hesitant to try other shadows because I'm so into Urban Decay, MAC, and Too Faced shadows. But I loved these colors, and they are wonderful, wonderful for, like, neutral eyes, just more of a subtle look. But also, they were warm enough for winter, so I decided to try those, and I thought it was such a cute... I think the packaging in the balm really helps them, because I know I was a sucker. I was like, if it's cute packaging, I'm going to buy it. So this is the new Tube palette. Um, and then I just kind of picked this up, because I love trying mascaras, and I go through mascaras really quickly. Um, this is Cheater... <laughs> Mascara, I don't like the name because I hate cheaters, but it was cute packaging. And again, it's just a black mascara. I think it was the only mascara they had, so we'll try it, see how it is. I've never, like I said, I've never heard of the balm. I've never tried the balm, so hopefully the balm is the balm. Okay, that was weird. Um, and then I got Frat Boy Shadow Blush. Um, actually, Sophie here, Fashionista 804, actually got this too, but I didn't know because she didn't tweet it. She just showed it in um, one of her favorites, so she likes this a lot. So I'm excited. I haven't tried it. Oh, it's cute. It says so many men, so little time. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Um, but I think it's a really, really pretty color. It's almost like the Marilyn blush that came out in the matte collection, I think. I think it's a really close, soft color to it. And I love, I mean, just look at that packaging. Oh, so cute, right? <laughs> I love it. I love, love, love this. I'm really excited to try this out. Like I said, the packaging's really cute. I know. I'm the sucker. Okay, so the next thing is from Lime Crime. I actually ordered this off their website. I think it's just LimeCrime.com or Lime Crime Makeup. Just Google it. It'll come up. I love Lime Crime. The black that I was wearing a lot is called Stiletto from Lime Crime. And then the nude I was wearing is also from Stiletto. So I actually picked up some fun colors. So I picked up four lipsticks and a palette. Um, two lipsticks I bought on my own, but two lipsticks actually came with the palette in the set. Um, the set was called Alchemy? I don't know. You guys probably know how to say that better than I, I do. Um, but it was like this thing where you got the palette and the two lipsticks with it. So I guess this is just, this is kind of the color. So you have a lot of like emeralds and reds in it. So I'll just show you the palette first. Um, this is what it looks like. It's off. I have one Lime Crime palette, and it's all the, like, sea colors, and I like this one because these were more, like, royal, majestical colors, and I thought they were really pretty, and, like, I have none of these colors, like, nothing like any of them, so I thought it was really cute, and I wanted to, they have great names, Divination, Spellbound, Love Potion Number 9, Lucky Charm, and Incantations, and I think they're great, and they're also vegan and cruelty-free. I love the Lime Crime palette I have with all the, like, colors as I call them. I think it's like the original one they came out with. I love that one so I definitely want to try it more. And then like I said I got some lipsticks. This one I bought on my own. This one did not come with the palette but this is a seafoam green. I just love these are amazing pigmentation. Like oh my gosh it looks like paint. It looks like a crayon. And I love that. I have no idea how I'm going to be wearing these or rocking these yet, but we'll figure that out later, right? Um, <laughs> and then I got this one. This one did not come with the palette either. Oh, hello. Okay, so this one is a sort of purpley pink lilac. And I'll show you this. I actually bought a drugstore from the CoverGirl Lip Perfection that's very similar to this. I think it's called Embrace. Um... And I didn't realize how close they were, but I really love it. And these two colors together are beautiful. So there's that. What was that called? That was the... Sorry, I didn't give you a name. Okay, so the purple right there is Airborne. 
and then the one before that was meant to be and that was this mint green right there very out there and very different so it definitely takes a certain kind of person to rock the lip but i believe anybody can if you believe in yourself okay so these last two lipsticks came with the palette like it was like a deal like you got 40 bucks for like the palette and two lipsticks which is good for lime crime um but i got this really deep dark emerald green which i thought would have been perfect for halloween if you were like poison ivy or for me if you go to comic cons and you dress up as poison ivy or cosplay as her i think that is such a beautiful beautiful green um with a really like i don't know i think like a green eye would be awesome with it i know people would be like oh a simple eye but no i think a green eye that color is serpentina love the names and then the final lipstick that came is called poison berry and this is almost like the cover girl one they're they're both called embrace or divine i i get them confused which is lighter and darker but embrace and divine are good dupes for these i just never realized it until i actually got these in person but um, good thing I love a berry lip because now I have a ton of them. Um, so that's the poison berry right there. I just think it's so pretty. I did show these on a live show a little while ago. So if you guys were at a live show, you already saw the swatches. But that was from Lime Crime. And then I just picked up a few things at Namie's. Um, like I told you guys, Namie's is like a, a beauty store. Just like, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a chain. I think it's just here in, uh, in the North Hollywood area. And it's, it's really great. I go in there with my sister. She gets good discounts because she has her cosmetology license. But anybody can go in these stores. So I suggest finding like a beauty emporium of some sort around you because they carry really great stuff. Um, I just got these moisturizing towels. Uh, calm down, tone up, soaked in green tea. <sighs> I needed these. These were like 17 bucks, But my sister actually uses these. And they're really just great to just, it, it's really what it says, to calm down, tone up. Honestly, I put them on my face when my face is feeling greasy. Or at the end of the day when I like not ready to take off my makeup and I just need to like lay it on. Or after I take off my makeup and it's like my face feels dry, I just put the cloth on my face. It feels really, really nice. And you can you can rub it, you can soak it, you can lay it. Um, I really, really like these. This is actually my second package of those. Um, and then I got some makeup cleansing tissues. This is the Cucumber Extract 30 Tissues. Um, my sister has this one as well. And I just need some makeup wipes because I am one of those people who just like, like, take soap and like scrub off my makeup really really hard um and I know that's not great for you and sometimes I'm, I'm too lazy to do that because it takes a lot to like wet your face soap it up get it in and I feel like this is just easier so I, I tend to sleep in my makeup so I'm like okay if I ever feel like I don't want to wash my face just take one of these and try and get the majority of my makeup as much as I can off my face um and then I just picked up two things for makeup forever I love Makeup Forever HD Foundation. It is my all-time favorite foundation. It is very pricey, so sometimes I opt for cheaper ones if I can't afford it, but I got it in 150. I have this. It's what I'm wearing on my face right now. I love the 150, and I was just about out of it, so I just had to repurchase that. And then I actually picked up the Makeup Forever HD Primer, which I got in the starter kit. You know, when they had the primer and the powder and the foundation. Um, I have the little tube, the squeezy tube of it, but I really like it. So I just decided to repurchase and get the full one. Face primer does make a world of difference. I never thought it did, but it really does. Like, I highly, highly recommend it. I love the Mineral Veil one, too, but I think Makeup Forever takes the cake on that one. No pun intended. We don't want cake faces. Um, and then literally, that, I don't know how that got in there. That's not anything, but... I just bought like 20 eyelashes from Nami's because they're like a dollar a piece. So just a bunch of different like looks. I got some really thick, thick. These are my favorite. These are really thick ones. And then some longer ones. I don't know. I have some thin ones in here too. I just, oh, here's some thinner ones. These are more natural. I just buy a lot of them. If you can, like I said, find a beauty store where they have eyelashes where they're kind of like wholesale or just cheaper. Um... They're nice. And try and get the real human hair because they don't pop up as much. Like the NYX lashes definitely will pop up on the corners after a while because they're fake. But if you get the real hair lashes, you'll like them much better. So I think that's it. Yes, that is it for me. So um, these are, like I said, more higher end brands for the most part. Um, but I do, I am going to be filming an iHeart Drugstore makeup tag because I like both. I like make, I like high end and I like drugstore. And if you can mix the two and... Just find what works for you. It's it's all the better, right? So I'm here to help you because I test out products all the time just because I'm obsessed with makeup, but um, it can get pricey and expensive. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my beauty haul. Um, if you guys have any requests for any other videos you'd like to see, and if, you, and if you like these hauls, make sure you physically like up this video so I know because sometimes they can be a lot, and I've been hauling a lot lately. 
So, anyways, I love my fishies. Kisses for my fishies. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.